Good morning. Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. At 10 o'clock every weekday, a museum staff member or volunteer will be here to share an object from our collection and post questions for discussion. My name is Betty, and I'm a docent at the Art Museum. When I was a young Procter & Gamble manager, one of my favorite perks was seeing the corporate art collection. When the elevator doors would open on the executive floor, the first thing I saw was this painting, The Dogged Class by Lily Martin Spencer. It was a personal favorite of mine, so I was thrilled when P&G gave it to the Cincinnati Art Museum. Lily was one of the most popular American female genre painters of the mid-19th century. She was known for painting warm domestic scenes, often of women and children. Here we see a small girl dressed in a white batiste blouse and silky blue pinafore. She sits on the floor with her arm resting on a red tufted sofa. To me, the stars of the show are the four small dogs sitting near her. Two are paying attention to their young mistress, but two are staring at us. She is playing school with the dogs, hence the title. The little pug has his paw in the air as though he knows the answer to the question she posed. If you're helping children with schoolwork during the pandemic, have your kids ever pretended to be the teacher? Lily's life was not typical of her time. Born in England to French parents, Lily's family immigrated to America and settled in Marietta, Ohio when she was 11. Her parents were highly educated and homeschooled her. She showed artistic talent early by drawing pictures of the family on the walls of the house. But instead of being scolded, she was encouraged to draw. Here's a self-portrait of Lily when she was 18. At her first exhibition, the Cincinnati philanthropist Nicholas Longworth offered to support Lily's art education by sending her to Boston or Europe to study. Lily had other ideas and decided to stay in Cincinnati. She married Benjamin Spencer, an English tailor. Their home life was wildly unconventional for the time as he no longer pursued his career, but helped Lily with household chores and her artistic work. She became the main breadwinner. There was plenty of work to share, as Lily had 13 children. I imagine Lily often drew inspiration for her warm family paintings from her own little ones. But money was always tight, so the family moved to New York to be closer to the urban middle class who bought her work. The family raised chickens and grew a vegetable garden to have enough to eat. Can you imagine finding time to paint with so many responsibilities? Art styles changed after the Civil War, and Lily's paintings were no longer as popular. She still painted until the day she died at age 79. At a time when most women painted as a genteel hobby, Lily Martin Spencer pursued art as a career. So here's some questions. What do you think of Lily's idealized view of a child's life? Which of the little dogs caught your attention? Do you think life for female artists has changed and improved since Lily's time? Add your thoughts in the chat below. 